I just got home from a Costco run and I thought I would share with you guys what I got. There was a lot of things on sale and then we're gonna go ahead and put these things away. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. My name is Emily and uh, I just got home from a Costco run with my daughter. We went to her gymnastics first and then Costco's kind of like on our way home. So we picked up a few things. There was a lot of stuff on sale that I don't normally buy, but we're kind of running low on anyways. So it was like the perfect timing. And then I got a lot of stuff. I want to like prep a lot of the fruit as well as put away some of these muffins. And I'll share with you a little tip that I've shared in the past, but let's go ahead and check out what I got. So here are some of the home things or like, you know, cleaning supplies that I picked up. All of these were on sale. I usually get like the Kirkland brand, but this was actually cheaper because it was on sale. And then we like to use this for our dishwasher and I like the unstoppable beads. I know that these aren't necessary, but when they go on sale, I like to pick some up. These were also on sale. I haven't tried them yet, but I figured, you know, you can't go wrong with breaded chicken. I like to try to have like some type of healthy treat slash snack on hand and these were on sale this week so I figured I would pick up some of these for the kids to enjoy throughout the upcoming weeks. And then we got a bunch of fruit so to start we picked up two pineapples. I recently got a pineapple from Costco. It was the first time I've ever cut up a pineapple and before I could even have like a second serving it was all gone so Figured I would get two. One specifically asked for oranges, so picked up some of these pink navel oranges. We haven't produced any from our tree yet, but our tree produces navel oranges, so probably something similar to this. And he's already dug into the bag, so we have one missing there. Got some bananas, which I don't mind ever like having too many because I typically make banana bread whenever they start going a little too ripe. And then I was gonna get two things of strawberries because we tend to eat like an entire one of these containers in like a day, maybe two days. And then I realized I grabbed like the wrong one and it was gonna be twice as expensive. So I put that one back and I just kept this one, which was like around four or $5. And then you really can't go wrong with the muffins. So this is like a, you pick two and I think it's $10 or something like for all of this. And we are going to be cutting these in half and then packing them up and freezing them. And it just makes them last a lot longer. They still taste just as great when they defrost. And it's better portion control when you cut them in halves or quarters, uh, depending on your liking. And then I did pick up a big thing of the Cheez-Its. Uh, they had this one on sale, which was the pouches. And it, it was actually less per ounce than getting just a big box where it was like a big bag. So I figured this would actually be better for portion control and you know for snacking throughout the weeks so just for these 12 items it cost 103 dollars and 65 cents where we are at but i did save 24 dollars and 60 cents so not bad in my opinion the chicken strips were 450 off the laundry detergent was five dollars off the unstoppables were 360 off the cascade gel was three dollars off and the organic fruit bars were $4 off, the Cheez-Its were $4.50 off. So pretty good savings in my opinion, and you know, definitely worth it, I think. But that is my little Costco haul. I'm gonna go ahead and put away the chicken because it has to go back in the freezer and put away our like cleaning supplies where they belong, and then we will get to restocking my pantry and prepping this other food. Let's take it slow, where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow, who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time where I So I think it's worth mentioning that the rebate app Ibotta is giving you back $4, I believe, on these scented beads. So if you don't have that app, make sure you check out the video I've linked above and use my referral code to open up Ibotta and start saving some money. Concerned, like we're gonna drown. 
But we both know how to swim, no worries, let's go for now. Let's take it slow, where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow, who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. Let's take it So here I'm just washing my strawberries by like mixing water and distilled white vinegar and just letting them sit for a few minutes. And I'm not sure, like I've seen people use baking soda and water. Let me know how you guys wash your fruit down below or if you wash them at all. When I was younger, we would just kind of like rinse them with water and we never really got sick, but I just kind of feel like I'm willing to take the extra step and I have the time anyways. But while those strawberries are soaking up, we are going to be cutting up our muffins. And what I'm doing is I'm just cutting them in half because I've found that size to kind of be the best portion for whenever we're in the mood for a muffin. So I'm cutting them in half and then I am wrapping each half in saran wrap and then storing the halves that are now wrapped in a gallon sized freezer Ziploc bag. And these will be going in our freezer and pretty much staying there until we're in the mood to have one. I've found that if I just take it out the night before, like I'll have it the next morning and it is perfect. So we're going back to the strawberries and kind of taking out all of the stems from the ones that were soaking, rinsing them off with water and putting some more in to soak. And while those will be soaking, we will be preparing our pineapple, which as I mentioned before, I recently cut my first pineapple ever just a few weeks or days even before filming this video. And I don't know if I'm doing it like perfect. I don't know if I am cutting off too little or too much. You can probably see as I'm cutting it, those little brown spots, and that probably means I'm cutting off like too close to the outer skin, but I really don't want to waste the fruit. So I'm, you know, trying to leave as much good yummy fruit on there as possible. And then I will be like taking the tip of the knife and just kind of getting out any seeds that I see still present in the pineapple. I'm 
Well, that wraps up today's video. I'd like to thank you guys for coming along for my grocery haul and putting away all my food and prepping my food. If you guys are new here, I would love it if you stick around and subscribed. And if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out and I'll catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.